non-road diesel-powered heavy equipment must meet new emissions regulations being phased in beginning in 2011. These regulations are referred to as Tier 4 Interim in the U.S. and Canada, Stage 3B in the European Union, and Step 4 in Japan. Danny? Yeah. Edgar. How you doing, Edgar? Good to see you. They said yeah. you'd be out today. Yeah, no, I appreciate you taking the time to show me the new machines. Fantastic. You picked a hot one, I'll tell you. I know. <laughs> hey, what can you tell me about the engines? What do I need to know about regeneration? All right. Well, actually, for the operator, Edgar, it's pretty simple, really. Uh, there's not a whole lot you really have to do, uh, especially in the automatic mode. Now, the Caterpillar has added a few new things to the cab that you're going to want to know about. Let's take a look. Okay. Upside here. Hop on up, Edgar. We'll take a look here. Turn her on so you can see. Now, other cat machines may look a little different inside, but they all work the same, basically, there. Now, you've got a soot-level monitor here, and here's your switch for your regeneration, and you've got a couple of new lights that they've added. This, uh, this gauge right here, that is, uh, that measures and shows the soot level there in what's called the DPF. That's the diesel particulate filter. That's a metal canister out there above the engine. Now, here's, uh, here's what it looks like inside the DPF. DPFs filter out soot from exhaust. Now, some of that soot oxidizes and is, is removed really easy by normal exhaust temperatures there, but, and that's what they call uh, passive regeneration. It happens all the time. But passive regeneration, see, does not remove all of the soot. That's when you really need the, the active regeneration. Here's the, uh, here's the cat regeneration system at work here. It, it automatically raises the exhaust temperature there so just enough to start removing the soot. All right, now you see the results right here on the little gauge. Oh, okay, so the cat regeneration system is automatic. When does it do its work? Well, the machine uh, looks for the best time to, to start regeneration, usually during regular idle times. So, now, see this light here? All right, now that's not a warning light. That is telling you that the machine is in the middle of, of regeneration. You really don't have to do anything. So, so what if I'm busy? Do I have to wait for the machine to finish regenerating before I go back to work? That's a good question. No, if you need to get back to work, go ahead and get back to work. Now, the machine will stop regeneration and start looking for the next best opportunity to, to restart it. They're usually during your next break. But uh, in automatic mode, uh, the machine takes care of regeneration. Uh, you, you, really, you really don't have to do anything. It takes care of it all by itself. Danny, you know, when I'm loading trucks, my loader doesn't really get much idle time. Mm -hmm. Do I need to stop? No, no, you just keep on working, keep, keep going. In the automatic mode, the cat regeneration system will wait, and when the soot level gets high enough, the active regeneration light will come on, and the machine regenerates while you work the machine, actually. It's automatic. Uh, it burns a little extra fuel uh, while you regenerate, but uh, that's why the machine looks for an idle condition. But you know, I mean, sometimes you just have to keep working, I understand. The uh, cat regeneration system lets you do just that. Danny, I've heard of manual regeneration. Do I need to know about that, too? Cat machines run in automatic mode, but sometimes the owner wants the operator to decide when to regenerate. A manual mode is almost as simple as automatic mode, except it takes one special tool, your index finger. Here's how it works. You start working and uh, soot begins to collect in the DPF. Now, in manual mode, the machine will not regenerate on its own, not even in idle speed. It's up to you. So when, uh, whenever the soot levels get above 15% uh, and you find yourself with an idle opportunity there, then uh, press and hold the top of the regeneration switch there for two seconds. Now, there's a light that, that tells you it's working. And uh, when regeneration is complete, then the soot level gauge shows it right there, and it's just that easy. Now, just like in automatic regeneration, you can interrupt the process at any time you have to to get back to work. Can I disable the system? Well, the cat regeneration system really only raises exhaust temperatures about 50 to 100 degrees. Um, not much more, really, than exhaust temperatures when you're normally working. But uh, you should know how to disable it when you're in the automatic mode. Now, to disable regeneration, you hold the bottom of the regeneration switch for two seconds. Now, the machine will not regenerate until you press that regeneration switch, or when you restart the engine, it automatically goes back into automatic mode then. And that's the CAT regeneration system.
In automatic mode, it uh, looks for opportunities to regenerate at idle. Or if you hadn't been at idle for a, a long time, then uh, it regenerates while you work. The machine manages the process so the operator doesn't have to. It's, it's good on the environment, easy to understand, and you know it's never slowed me down. Well, Danny, I appreciate you taking the time to explain it a little better. Sure thing, sure thing. Any other questions you have, you just let me know. I will. All right. Take Thanks it easy. Uh-huh. The CAT regeneration system works transparently, requiring no operator interaction. It works when conditions are optimal, either during normal idle periods or during operation if needed. It is interruptible. The operator can interrupt regeneration at any time by simply returning to work. It minimizes fuel consumed to regenerate and is robust to all operating conditions, including ambient temperature and load. Bottom line, the CAT regeneration system is a process you do not need to manage.